work is about uh, recruitment automation using blueprints. Here we can see the contents, the manual recruitment process, manual process limitations, robotic process automation, RPA tools, why blue prism and recruitment automation using blue prism and some exceptions where we faced while doing this project. This is the manual recruitment process. In this manual recruitment process, HR team will get the job details from clients and filter the candidates based upon the criteria given by the clients and also shortlist the candidates uh, which are matched to the criteria given by clients and also we assign a pre-assessment test for the candidates who are interested and shortlisted candidates will be sent a mail to the clients. This is the manual recruitment process and manual recruitment process having some limitations are, are and working hours will be limited and also dramatical energy levels of human decreases output depends upon the working individuals and the skill set these are the limitations of disadvantages we can say and this is a robotic process automation application of technology that allows employees in a company to configure computer software or a robot to capture interpret existing applications for processing a transaction manipulating data, triggering responses and also communicating with other digital systems and these are the benefits we can see throughput and quality, robustness and also consistency and reduce direct human labor costs and expenses and these are various tools of RPA like UI path, automation in work fusion so why we choose only blue prism, why not other tools like we are having some advantages in blue prism like easy of debugging and also choice of uh, programming languages and also scalability OCR and integration techniques recruitment automation using blue prism here a robot will interact with the outlook and Joho's application and it will mimic the same actions of what human does this is the block diagram of an automation and the here the, there are three phases one is recruitment uh, Joho recruitment and also object studio where we are going to program all the actions to be performed in the Joho recruitment site and also in the process studio we are calling all the actions stages right and here we can see object studio contains application model which is by the various functionalities of a Joho recruit application by using these fine elements you can create various actions also process studio will operate these all actions appropriately and all business decisions will be take place in process studio take place in process studio and some exceptions like business exception like no, no new mail found and also no mail found from client these are some business exceptions and also no attachment found for example you get a mail but no attachment is there and also this is also a business exception and will send a replay mail that no attachment is found with this mail and also system exceptions like no internet and also server problems and also application is already logging these and all comes under the system exception and other exceptions like if any exception occur after launching the Joho site snapshot of, uh, of that page is sent to developer if exception occur before launching the Joho site a notification mail will send to developer this is the process studio and we are running the process in the install stage the process will be at start stage and now it will go to clean up it will close all the applications in the background and get credentials from clients and also navigating to get mail if no attachment found it goes to end and sends an exception if found it opens to Joho recruitment site and now it will log in using the credentials which we specified before you can see there the credentials are already specified using that credentials you can log in into Joho recruitment site now we are importing the the uh, job openings which are provided by clients 
the file which is downloaded before is imported into Joho recruitment site. The importing process is almost complete. And now in the next step, we are going to filter the candidates based upon the criteria given by the clients. You can see that is navigated to new jobs. These are all the job openings we just imported from the clients. Now we are going to filter the candidates and also assign a pre-assessment test to the candidates who are interested and are matched with the criteria given by clients. It's selecting the pre-assessment for the candidates who are interested in the job opening. Now after uh, filtering the candidates, we are, uh, we are moving the job ID to another field. Now we can see here, these are the candidates who match to the criteria based upon the skill set given by the client. You can see here. These are the candidates who match to the criteria. Now we are going to submit a pre-assessment test for the candidates. A mail is sent to them regarding the pre-assessment test. Now the candidates who uh, who perform well in well in the pre-assessment test are shortlisted. You can see the rating there five, and the shortlisted candidates may be sent to clients. This is the process actually done uh, by the HR, but this is completely automated. And 